The Outlaws are a southern rock country rock band best known for their 1975 hit There Goes Another Love Song, and Green Grass and High Tides. Early history, the Outlaws were formed in Tampa, Florida in late 1967 by Greek barista Euro vocalist Huey the Masson, drummer David Dix, bassist Phil Holmberg, guitarists Hobie O'Brien and Frank Guidry, plus singer Herb Pino. Guidry owned the name The Outlaws. Previous to Guidry's arrival the band was called The Rogues, then the four-letter words. By early 1968 O'Brien and Holmberg both left the band to get married, and Frank O'Keefe came in on bass. Later that year, Tommy Angarano joined the Outlaws to replace her Pino, bringing Hammond organ sounds and his style of vocals to the band. Shortly after, he quit and Herb was brought back in. In the spring of 1968 the group's first manager, Paul D., brought them to Epic Studios in New York City to record an album, which was never released after the band and the producer of the album had a falling out. The group headed back to Tampa then got another deal to go to Criteria Studios in Miami. There they recorded another album with producer Phil Gernhard. But this album was likewise never released, and Gernhard vanished soon after. As part of the Gernhard record deal, Ronnie Elliott working with Phil Gernhard was brought in around this time forcing Guidry out of the band to be a part of the band to play bass while O'Keefe briefly switched to guitar. But O'Keefe went back to bass after Elliot left several weeks when the band didn't sound the same, and Herb Pino began playing guitars and doing vocals at this time. Drummer Monty Yoho also joined that same year to sub for Dix. In early 1970, the Outlaws were joined by two members of the Dave Graham group that was also managed by Paul D. The Dave Graham group's union leader was Monty Yoho, but he was not invited to be part of this lineup. The early 1970 Outlaws lineup was Huey the Masson, Frank O'Keefe, Dave Dix, Billy Jones, and Dave Graham. Graham was influential in moving the group toward country rock, especially the music of Pico. They recorded a cover of The Doors 5 to 1 as an audition to a recording deal that never materialized. This grouping disbanded in the spring of 1970, and the group eventually parted ways with Paul Di Yoho and Herb Pino returned. But by 1971 the office for gigs had slowed down and the group went into limbo for a year or so, not sure if they would continue. In 1971 Henry Paul, a singer and guitarist who was born in New York but grew up in the Tampa area, returned from a stay in Greenwich Village NYC to form Siena, which was more of a country rock outfit. He was joined by Monty Yoho and Frank O'Keefe. In 1972 Huey the Masson returned from a brief spell in New York where he had been backing up folk singer Milton Carroll, joined up with Paul, Yoho and O'Keefe and Sienna became the reborn outlaws. Billy Jones, who would sometimes show up to jam with the group on organ in 1971 and 1972, returned from a stint in Boulder, Colorado in 1973 and switched to guitar, giving birth to the band's first infamous guitar trio later dubbed the Florida Guitar Army. O'Keefe left the group temporarily in 1973 Euro 74. Buzzy Meerkins and another bassist named Rick Birkbeck stood in until he was able to return. In 1974 Charlie Briscoe signed on as manager for the Outlaws. Alan Walden was told of the group by Lynyrd Skynyrd frontman Ronnie Van Zandt and he joined forces with Briscoe as co-manager. The band was the first act signed to Arista Records under Clive Davis. Davis was in the audience at a show in 1974 where the band was opening for Lynyrd Skynyrd in Columbus, Georgia. On the way to the stage for Lynyrd Skynyrd's set, lead vocalist Ronnie Van Zant said to Clive Davis who was with Charlie Briscoe a Euro OE if you don't need a Euro unregistered trademark T sign the outlaws, yeah a Euro unregistered trademark re the dumbest music person e a Euro unregistered trademark they ever meet a Euro. And I know Yao a Euro unregistered trademark re not a Euro the Outlaws earliest well-known songs where there goes another love song, and Green Grass and High Tides, both from their 1975 eponymous debut album. Their 1980 cover of, Ghost, Riders in the Sky from the album Ghost Riders was their biggest single chart success, reaching number 31 on the Billboard Pop Singles chart. Career while the Outlaws are generally considered to be a part of the Southern rock genre, there are distinct differences in their approach and their influences. 
their primary similarity to other southern rock bands is the dual-led guitar interplay, a defining characteristic of many southern rock bands. However, the Outlaws a Euro unregistered trademark mix of country and rock elements displays the vocal harmony influences of groups like Buffalo Springfield, The Birds, and Paco. Their use of three- and four-part harmonies set them apart from their contemporaries who usually relied on a single lead vocalist. Huey the Masson's signature guitar playing style and voice were defining characteristics of the band's sound. The Masson's guitar sound was underpinned by the use of the Fender Stratocaster played in a quasi-country style mixed with fluid, quick blues runs. Huey was nicknamed the Flame for his flaming fast guitar work. He is a member of the Fender Hall of Fame. The other lead guitarist, Billy Jones, played mainly a Gibson Les Paul and switched between a clean and distorted sound. A good example of this can be heard on green grass and high tides on the right stereo channel. Huey the Masson's smooth Stratocaster sound can be heard on the left channel. The Masson opens the first solo at the intro and plays the first half of the two succeeding longer solos all on the right channel. There are many video examples of his green grass solos on the internet. The records released by the band between 1975 and 1980 are considered the best representation of the band's style. The band was seen on successful concert tours billed with other non-Southern rock acts of the time including opening for The Who on The Who Boots in tour in 1976. This contrast of styles was more common at the time than the packaged genre tours seen so often these days. The willingness of promoters to mix styles led to the Outlaws gaining a large following in the United States. The Outlaws' style is highly characterized in their first three albums. These are considered the best work of the band with all of the classic era band members, except for O'Keefe who was replaced by the left-handed bass player Harvey Dalton Arnold O'Keefe and Jones both died in February 1995. Jones by Suicide the albums released after 1980 are largely viewed by critics as a gradual move away from the original sound that gained them success in the 1970s. The reworking of the Western-style Ghost Riders in 1980 was the band's last taste of big league success, although the band released two more records, Los Hombres Marlowe in 1982 and Soldiers of Fortune in 1986. As the 1980s came to a close, the Masson became the final original member of the act. Albums such as Diablo Canyon, released in 1994, were released on smaller independent record labels. The band by now was mostly confined to smaller club dates. This situation led to the Masson accepting the guitar position in the legendary, and by now much more popular, Leonard Skynyard in 1996. This essentially sidelined the Outlaws for a decade as the Masson's voice and guitar style were just too integral a part of the Outlaws sound for the other members to successfully work without it. In 2000, the Diablo Canyon lineup released the album Solo, to mixed response from fans. Many cited it as being more of a solo output from the Masson. After this release, the band again vanished from the musical environment. Henry Paul went on to form the country band Black Hawk, which had some chart success in the 1990s. In April 2005, classic members Huey the Masson, Henry Paul, Monty Yoho, and David Dix reunited as the Outlaws and the rest of the lineup was filled out with former guitarist Chris Anderson, bassist Randy Threat, and Dave Robbins on keyboards. The latter three had been with Paul's country group Black Hawk. The two classic members not included in the lineup, guitarist Billy Jones and bassist Frank O'Keefe, could not join as they both died in 1995, within weeks of each other. O'Keefe died of a drug overdose and Jones committed suicide shortly after. Paul and Robbins left to resume their careers in Black Hawk in early 2006, but the remaining band soldiered on. They were part of the Charlie Daniels Volunteer Jam Tour in the summer of 2007. Band leader Huey the Masson died on September 9, 2007, of a heart attack in Brooksville. Florida obituary report no release date has been announced for the new studio album, Once an Outlaw, that was finished before the Masson's death. A cover version of their trademark epic 10-minute track Green Grass and High Tides is featured as the finale in the setlist for guitar and bass in the video game Rock Band and features two complicated solos. In December 2007, 2008 Outlaws tour dates were released.
In January 2008, the Outlaws lineup would be revealed to include Henry Paul, Monty Yoho, Chris Anderson, and Randy Threat, along with newer additions Billy Crane, John Coleman, and Brett Cartwright. Cartwright left the band shortly thereafter. This would be the first lineup in Outlaws history without Huey the Masson on guitar and vocals, as from the band's formation to his death, he was the only constant member, garnering him the nicknames Mr. Outlaw and the Lone Outlaw. According to the band's website, the Outlaws announced their intention to continue to tour throughout the summer and fall of 2009 with this lineup and plan to participate in the Simple Man Cruise with Lynyrd Skynyrd in January 2010. It was also stated on the website that the band would change its name to Henry Paul Band due to the Masson's death, but to continue touring with the same setlists. In May 2010, the Outlaws were featured, along with the Marshall Tucker Band, Molly Hatchet, Blackberry Smoke, and the Chris Hicks Band, on stage at Long Island Southern Jam 2010 Inches Babylon New York at Overlook Beach. The all-day concert featured a unique jam fest for all the bands. LI Southern Jam website, for the 2010 tour Dave Robbins returned on keyboards and Henry Paul was involved in a lawsuit brought about by Huey the Masson's widow, Mary, which alleged trademark violations. In April, 2011 the case was ruled upon in favor of Henry Paul, Monty Ojo and the co-defendants. On July 30, 2012, it was announced on the band's website that their first new album in 18 years will be released on September 25, 2012, titled It's About Pride. It will also be accompanied by a separately released DVD documentary about the making of the new album, called Hiding Out in Tennessee. Members, current members, Monty Ojo a Euro drums, percussion, Henry Paul a Euro guitars, vocals, Steve Grisham a Euro guitars, vocals, Chris Anderson a Euro guitars, vocals, Dave Robbins a Euro keyboards, backing vocals, Randy Threat a Euro bass, vocals, former members. Discography. Equals studio albums equals, Outlaws, Lady in Waiting, Hurry Sundown, Playing to Win, In the Eye of the Storm, Ghost Riders, Los Hombres Malo, Soldiers of Fortune, Diablo Canyon, Solo, It's About Pride, A Matter of Pride. Equals live albums equals, Bring It Back Alive, Hit in the Road, Extended Versions. Equals compilations equals, Greatest Hits of the Outlaws. High Tides Forever, Best of the Outlaws, Green Grass and High Tides, Super Hits. Equals Billboard Hot 100 Singles equals, There Goes Another Love Song US Number 34, Breaker Breaker US Number 94, Hurry Sundown US Number 60, Ghost. Riders in the Sky US number 31. Videography. Equals official video releases equals Outlaws Video LP, Live Concert, VHS. Equals unofficial video releases equals Outlaws Live at the Summit, Houston, Texas, DVD, Outlaws Live at the Rock Palast, Lawley, Germany, DVD, Outlaws Live at the Tower Theatre, Philadelphia, DVD. References. External links, Outlaws official website, Swimplin's Legends of Southern Rock, The Outlaws, Jeff Howell website, Life Biography of the Band, Outlaws at Discogs.com, May 22, 2010 Concert on Long Island, Memorial webpage for Huey the Masson, Billy Jones and Frank O'Keefe.